The RSI Constellation Andromeda is the gunship variant with light freight capabilities of the Constellation line, affectionately known as Connie's in the verse. You can buy it for $225 in of human money or roughly 3.5 mil at Lorville. Obviously, you can fit boxes in it. It can hold 96 units of cargo, which is less than other ships like the Freelancer, the base model, or the Max. But it is enough to make a profit and not feel like you're wasting your time while you're doing it. The ship has generous DPS, uh, 2.6k from the pilot seat, 52 missiles, shields equivalent to the Freelancers or the Valkyries. It does not have a lot of runner lights, <laughs> so it's pretty much pitch black. Uh, there's two turrets, there's one behind the pilot seat on the ground and in uh, just above. The turrets are a little weak, but you could upgrade the weapons. And in fact, if you're going to upgrade anything, that's what I would recommend you do first. You'll see immediately you get a ton of screen space. A ton of it. Which is nice. Although the struts in this bridge are not as attractive as they are in the constellation Aquila which has this piece of curved smooth piece of grass oh my goodness glass piece of grass streamer no talk good Excellent landing gear animation. All of the constellations are designed to be played with like one to four players, which is fun. It also makes them a good size. It's what I sometimes call the Goldilocks size because you can accomplish tasks by yourself, but if you want to invite your friends, you don't have to go through a bunch of hoopla um, or play in separate ships. Uh, although I will say, unlike the Freelancers or the Valkyrie, uh, which are also in that category of play, the constellations are all bigger targets. So, when you're in a fight with small little nimble fighters, uh, it can be stressful to be one of the larger targets in that fight, especially if you're fighting more than one target at a time. So, like I said from the pilot seat, you have a pretty generous weapon package, laser repeaters that are on excellent gimbals. Uh, that means even though you're slow and uh, beefy, um, it, it's not it's 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 not miserable to fight in this ship. Um, it's actually pretty pleasant. The rate of fire is really fast, making it easy to get consecutive hits. Um, the DPS is good, making it easy to take down all kinds of targets. Uh, and, you know, we stand good gimbals. Um, if there is something that you were looking at upgrading, it probably wouldn't be these weapons. It would probably be the turret weapons and the shields. Um, the shield package is good. Uh, again, it's the same as the Freelancer line or the Valkyrie line. But you're a larger target than any of those ships and less nimble than those ships. The ship is pretty cool looking. Antenna on the side, uh, lots of details. You can see these missile, missile batteries at the top here. On the back you'll notice that you have a fighter pilot attached, which I think is an incredible and sexy feature, although you can't um, you can't get in it right now. I've tried several times on several different servers, and every time 
you can sit in it sometimes you can't launch it sometimes you bug out and fall through the seat um, if you have better luck with it uh, that's fantastic uh, but I have not <laughs> so now that the lights are on in the interior uh, you notice that it is attractive it's a very dramatic bridge which you know we're fans of here um, this is the elevator down that I that I used to get up there is of course a bathroom like always uh, I believe this is supposed to be a table that rises out when you sit down um, I haven't gotten the table to come out yet you got lockers four crew beds a large cargo bay with a dramatic walkway you can see your missiles we love that too um, there's two side airlocks one over here and one over there making it pretty easy to get in and out while you're in space and in the back you have the fighter that I showed you I'm not gonna get in it because like I said you're liable to lag out or do some hanky panky stuff I hope you can get it working because it's a cool feature also, it won't always be a Kruger ship. That's just a stand-in until they get a different ship. With a 96-unit cargo bay, the ability to do combat missions pretty easily and box missions of all kinds. Uh, also, you can fit vehicles in the cargo bay. You got room for your friends. This, the Constellation Andromeda, is a pretty good all-around ship.